Hey, you're here. God, I was waiting for you. I get so bored not talking to people of like mind. I really appreciate you stopping in. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot, and it's the last day of November, November 30th. This is Wednesday. Now, what we do on this show is we talk about what I do. I like to trade OTC and penny stocks and then share some of these with you. Now, OTC and penny stocks, they're not the same. Not every stock on the OTC market is a penny stock. A penny stock is any stock under five bucks. Well, there's a lot of stocks on the OTC market, way over five bucks. Did you know there are actually shares on the OTC market at $10,000, even $30,000 a share on the OTC market? But not every stock on the major exchange is expensive. There's lots of stocks under $5 there. So wherever these stocks under $5 are at, that's where we're going to go looking. Now, I do a lot of research, mostly on OTC stocks. That news right there is part of my research, the site, otcmarkets.com. It is my primary source of research. That news right there came from this site. That's where I get it all from. There's about five, six days worth there. Oldest is up at the top. Your newest is down here at the bottom. This is good news. You don't have any boring stuff in there. It's hand-picked, right? It's just stuff I've read. So you've got mergers, acquisitions, uplistings, new technology, all sorts of juicy news. Now, as I said, this is the site I do my research on, primarily because it's updated every single day by FINRA and the SEC. I don't see any reason wasting my time running around the internet looking for what I want when I know where it's at. I'm a smart man, so I start my research here. If I can't find it, the internet's always there waiting for me. Well, let's take a look at how our OTC market finished today. We're going to go ahead and give this a refresh. These numbers do not refresh on the road. Thank God we got a bump and we're out of the six billion share volume area we were stuck in. Yay! All right, our dollar volume has come up. We're up to 1.7. I think we we're at 1.4, 1.5 the other day. Share volume, we were at 6.1 yesterday. We were fighting getting out of the fives. Looked like we were stuck in the sixes. We've hit seven. Trades, we're still in between 250,000 and 300,000, right in the middle, 272. So a little bit of spunk, but nothing to get too excited about. Now, we're going to do something a little different today. I do do this occasionally. We're going to look at the top runners on just the OTC market. And we can get all this information right here at the otcmarkets.com website. Now, we're going to go to a page that gives me a piece of information that I consider primary. And I have a very hard time finding this anywhere else. You're not going to get it on most platforms like Think or Swim or Weeble, something like that. And I haven't found a whole lot of sites. Actually, I don't know of any sites off the top of my head that have this. I'm talking about the number of trades a company has had up to the time I look at it. So if you come up here to market activity, click that link right underneath it, current market. That's going to bring you to the doorway to the page that's going to get you to where we want to go. This is a list of all the most active stocks on the entire OTC market. All 12,565 of them. And depending what you want to know, this is where you start and, and you can drill down. Well, we're interested in the stocks that are running up, that are making gains. So we're going to look at the advancers. And I want to see all the stocks. I want to see all the subpenny stocks. But you can look for stocks just over a nickel, just over a dollar. We're going to go all. And then to get rid of everything else on the page, just click that more button. And now it becomes dedicated. And if you really want to focus in tighter, you can come over here and choose your markets, the pink, QB, QX, if you really want to narrow it down. But I want to see everything. Now you've got all the basic information here, your symbol, your price, percentage gains. You can see it's already in order with the biggest gain at the top. And it will just keep opening up and going deeper and deeper every time you hit that more. I don't know if it stops. It may go through all 12,000 stocks. I was literally here for 10 minutes pushing this button. I don't know if I was bored, but it just never stopped. It just kept going. So it does go as deep as you're probably going to want to go. Um, you've got volume of how much money they've actually generated selling the shares today. I don't know how important that is to people. You got your share volume, which everybody wants to know. And then my special piece of information, the trades. 
folks, I consider the number of trades a company has had up until the moment you're looking at it <laughs> is very relevant. It's very important. It's a barometer of how many people are engaged, literally engaged with the company. We're not talking about buzz online and people talking and posting about it. We're talking about people putting their money where their mouth is. Now, it's important because you may see, let me give you a good example here. All right, this right here. 1.3 million shares are moving. You're looking at your platform, you see this volume, wow, it's up 200%, it's looking incredible. It looks great until you realize there's only two people involved with that. Well, a maximum of two people. I mean, it could be one that did two trades, but I know it's not more than two, absolutely not. But when you look at something, say, how about that one? 403 trades today. That could be up to 403 people. It's possible. The other one, no way is it possible. Two was its absolute limit. Now, this isn't on a one-to-one -one ratio all the time, of course. There could be 200, 250. In either case, that's still a crowd. That's what I'm looking for, the crowd factor. I want stocks that have a lot of people mulling around. I go to the movie and don't know any of the movies. How do I know which one to watch? Probably the one with the longest line. Probably isn't a bad shot. Not a guarantee, but isn't a bad shot. So I follow the crowds through the day. So when I come over here, and you can come over here anytime through the day, this information is available for free. There is a lag of about 15 minutes, so you're not going to get it at the beginning of the bell. Between 9.30 and 10, not really available. Come here at 10 in the morning, you'll get to see who's running. Now, keep in mind, we're looking at this at the end of the day. So this is a total tally for the whole day. And it can vary from day to day. I see times when there are lots of stocks doing thousands of trades a day. And then there's other days you can't see anybody getting over 300 trades, and they're very, very few. But you come over here in the morning, everybody's naked, really. You see lots of ones and twos and threes. So if you see anybody who's got a 10 or a 12 or a 15, that's a lot more than everybody else is doing. Now that may be all they do that day, but it's a telltale sign to at least look into it. Jump over here like we're gonna do and get some information. Now what I'm gonna do to make this easy is do it this way. So I've gone ahead and split the screen now. This should make transitions easier. I do lose my coffee breaks, but that's what you get for convenience. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for stocks that had a lot of trades. I'm looking for that crowd factor. I wanna get stocks that have, well, you know, we've got 30, 63, uh, 337, let's say 50. Anything over 50 trades, we'll go look at. However, under two contingencies, we're not gonna look at any trip zips. That is stocks that are triple zero anything. Got nothing against them. It's just eight out of 10 of them don't move no matter how many shares they move or how many trades. It's the same price as it was when they opened. So we're just not gonna look at those. The other thing is we're not gonna waste our time with the double diamonds because they're not on the open market. Double diamonds are expert market. This is where companies go when they're late on filing and didn't get them caught up in time, they could put into time out. And you can't buy or sell their shares for the most part. They're off the open market and they stay there until their filings are caught up and then they come back on the market. And if you're invested in them, you're in limbo while they're in limbo. So we're not gonna look at those or the trip zips. Everything else is game. Oh, they do have to be under five bucks. This is every stock on the entire market. And you might see stocks $20, $30 that were big runners today. It happens. So let's get this started. First thing I notice is this. Normally when I come to this page, this is all double diamonds. All of them. All these huge runners like this, double diamonds. And you're saying, well, if they're not tradable, how are they getting all these trades? Well, normally it's not a lot of trades. But to answer the question, it's uh brokers and marketers behind the scenes. It's their own private game that they play and we're not invited. But in this case, the very top one out of the entire market, all 12,000 companies is EQHAW. It's pink and it's not a trip, it's three cents. That's a valid price to contend with. Look at that gains, folks. 44,900% gains. She only had five trades, so she wouldn't qualify to be looked at. But with that sort of gain at three cents, I thought it was worthy. Now, I'm not gonna take you on this run because it just isn't worth it, but I did dive into it. There was nothing on the OTC market. I ran over to Twitter, couldn't find anything there. So then I just went out to Google, and I found this article. 
New York Stock Exchange to suspend trading immediately in warrants of this company and to commence delisting proceedings immediately. They're coming off the market. Why? Well, they say that the warrants are no longer suitable for listing based on abnormally low price levels. Now, I've never seen that before. I'm always seeing new things, but how low can a warrant not go? On the NASDAQ, the stock can't go under a dollar for too long. Warrants are normally in the pennies and up, so maybe they can't go under a penny. Well, that is the chart I've got over here right now, folks. This is EQHAW. It's the warrant for the company EQHA. Now, here's the weird thing. You normally don't see warrants on the OTC market. They come with major exchange stocks. So what's it doing down here? Well, chances are the company got sent down to the NASDAQ for whatever reason, and they bring their warrants with them. That's how they end up down here. But in either case, she was at a low here of triple zero two. Personally, I've never seen a warrant under a penny. Maybe there's a rule for it. Maybe that's why I've never seen it. So this was at triple zero two and hit that high of nine cents today. That's how you ended up with almost 45,000% gains. You do realize that means for every hundred dollar bill you had had in this, you'd have made $45,000 on every $100 bill. I know, it doesn't seem fair. <laughs> All right, let's get back to our list here and look at the real world. All right, we are looking for stocks with over 50 trades, but also in our price zone. So this one does not qualify. Keep scrolling on down. What do we got? First one here is 337 trades. Let's make sure our price is good. It is. We are just under 003. Had 86% gains, did 44 million shares. This one looks good. Looks like she's got some heat. This is BBBT. That sounds familiar. Oh yes, I posted news on this company. They did, uh, they did some uh, a deal with another company on the OTC market. Now we're not going to jump into these. Yeah, I don't go deep dives each day, but we're not even going to go as deep as I normally go. We're going to kind of breeze through these because what we're really looking for is the catalyst. The rest of the information is okay, but if you're day trading, you really don't need all the rest of that information. It doesn't matter for the short amount of time you're in and out of the stock. So this is Blackbird Biotech Inc. Uh, she's got all her green ticks and is pink current, so she is a safe bet. News, it was the news that came out today, Exceptional Business Services announces that it has been hired by Blackbird Biotech to boost be tested, be safe, might extreme, biopesticide sales within cannabis industry. Whew, that was a mouthful to read. And that did just come out today. So you have exceptional here as well. Now, let me see here. I can't remember what their ticker is. There it is. I'm gonna grab that up and throw that up here as well. So they did 86% gains on the news. What did exceptional do? Exceptional only went up 11% today. Now, that's how she finished. Did she actually have a bigger jump? Not really. No, Exceptional has fallen under 200, hit a low bubble, and barely bounced off of that news. But BBBT, BBBT had a nice bounce off it. She too is under her five minute. Now I'm on the 30 minute chart right now. Um, I do believe that's a 10 day, that's a 10 day. We can go down to the hour just to get a, bit, a better view there. So she has been rolling downhill. She's been under her 50 as well as her 200. Today she's broke out over 50, you can see the size of her price bars. They get a lot stronger when they get on top of the 50. She's up there now. All of her technicals look strong. This looks like it wants to continue to grow, the BBBT on that news. But some more DD is, of course, always a good thing. So let's see where are we at here. BBBT. Another one we got here is LBAS. They are pink limited. That means they're late on one or more of their filings. Does make it in the price zone. 69% gains, almost 8 million shares with 159 trades. Let's see what we got going over here for Libas. Libas, Libas. Location based technologies. All right, just for the giggles of it, what sort of share structure? We could have looked at BBT. Uh, about 160, 180 million shares. We got any news over here for the company? No, we have no news for a catalyst. 
We do see she's pink limited, but she's got her green tick. So let's see how late she is. Uh, two, five, eight. Uh, looks like she should be coming out of pink limited right now actually that could be her catalyst right there you got the annual report that came out yesterday and you have the attorney letter which you must have an attorney letter with a annual report if you're not doing CPA 10 K's 10 Q's you have to get an attorney to look at it now they're not looking at the numbers they're looking at all the other information saying yeah looks legal to me and he stamps it once this gets accepted by the OTC market that'll go up to pink and everybody loves their companies to be pink so that could easily be the catalyst right now is there anything else we got no I don't see anything else going on here so that's what I would think LBAS is running on Next one, 48, well, that's close, isn't it? We'll look at 48. See, I'm willing to negotiate here. She's over a million shares, 65% gains, uh, just under two cents. This is TMMI. Who is TMMI? It's TMM Inc. Uh, pink current, all green with her ticks, looking good. Share structure, anything to get excited about? Nah. About 200, maybe more, maybe 300 million shares in the float. Financials for this company, please. Uh, no, they're not making any money last year and they're not making any money now. But it doesn't say anything about any sort of shell over here. It's a little interesting. News for this company. October 13th, we have a piece of news. October 13th, disclosures. So we don't see a catalyst for her yet. And a lot of times you won't here. I look at a lot of stocks that have no catalysts and I can't show you the ones running the biggest because I can't find the reason it's running. And what can I say? Outside of it could be technicals. It could be about the chart or something. So I've come up empty handed over here knowing why this thing was running. So I'm gonna run over to Twitter and I'm gonna put this in front of a dot on the other side of a dollar sign. No, not that one. T-M-M-I, that's what I meant to put in. Got lots of people who like to share their DD over here. Now, it's not like I take it all for gospel, but it's a good place to get your leads. Just talk to other people who are doing the same thing you are. Update should soon be here. Uh, we are completing the preparation of Q3 report. Great strides on the corporate agenda. Research and development is leading us to interesting new applications for our tech. Have a great weekend. We look forward to letting you know about additional concrete advances in the coming two weeks. And that was just put out three hours ago. So they're dragging it out. Something's happening over the next two weeks. News coming per Twitter last week. Um, you know, there, maybe if I click that and I click the company, always good to the, go to the company's Twitter account. Get it straight from the horse's mouth. Much appreciation for all the support during this trench work. Looking forward to sharing next week. Uh, we solidify Happy Thanksgiving. So they haven't talked to us in a week. So we've got no new information here, but the stock is running. Just people getting excited for something about to happen. Next one. Uh, oh, okay, we got 403 trades. Could be 400 people around that stock. 30 million shares. 55% gains. She is at uh, about a half a penny. This is MJLB. Makes me think of Major League Baseball, but those aren't the right letters, are they? Uh, let's open this up, see what we got going on over here. This is All Track Systems. All pink, all green. Looking good over there. Share structure, 370 million shares. Any sort of money coming in for this company? Yeah, they're making money. They've got about a half a million dollars at the end of last year, and uh, their revenues are picking up. And look at here. doesn't cost them anything for their money. That's what you normally get with somebody who has a digital product. doesn't cost any to manufacture a duplicate on the computer, does it? Let's see what they do do. We help our clients locate, track, and manage their assets using today's leading edge wireless and GPS based technologies. That's definitely all digital. Was there any new news for them today? That's October 14th. We got anything down here? October 14th. Any disclosures? No, their most recent financial came out on the 14th. They're all caught up. We got nothing here. So I'm gonna take that as well. We're gonna run over to our old buddy, Mr. Twitter, and we're gonna see what he can tell us. Could be a she, I've never lifted the skirt. <laughs> 
All right, what happened there? Well, my bad, excuse me. MJLB, did, did we get it? No, we don't want that N in there. All right, MJLB, I've been in this one for two years now. I believe CEO will deliver. Deliver what? Mm, let me see, top gainer. MJLB reversal, we got our technicals up here. Twitter's a good place to learn technicals. I tell you what, they do some good tracking and explaining it to you. Uh, all Tracky has updates coming on product launch and sales already accounted for January 2023. This came out seven hours ago. 5G tracker comes in a $300 with one gig. Patent play. Weekly chart shows huge upside. Last run was 26 cents. All right, so there you go. People are expecting something by January 1, 2023. So you got 30 days. So more DD won't hurt. Let's take a look at that chart. Let's see what it looks like for MJLB. Now let's back this up a little bit. Let's, let's go back for four hours, six months. So we had a high back here six months ago of about three and a half cents. She took a big topo here. Even though she was falling, she fell faster. And it looks like she's just gone flat. Now she was just sitting here waiting for this 200, but she's made no attempt to get over it. She got shy and ran away as soon as it really got up in her face, didn't it? Lots of volume has come into the picture now. She hasn't had any volume. It has been growing. She is up over her nine day. You can't do anything until you're out from underneath your nine. Step number one, complete. Oh, we got a great setup here. Do you see the the mirror image we got going here kind of looks like a bottle, that blue line here and that red line there. Well, as these two lines were coming together, my PPO, my percentage price oscillator, and my ADX, as they're coming together, you can draw a line from where it started to go up. Yeah, I'll do that for you as a matter of fact. I'm going to draw a line right there where the it stopped climbing and then where it started climbing. And you can see that's how these lines function. When the direction changes on the trend, the lines change with these. When you see both of them coming together, the price is falling, isn't it? When they're coming together, the price is falling. When they start going apart, the price goes up. So this is a beautiful pattern. As long as neither one of these lines change direction and keep doing that, you know that's going to keep growing. So this is a great setup right now. She looks pretty strong, MJLB, at least on the four hour. Looking at the five day, five minute, well, she did have that fall. She bounced good and hard off of that low bubble of almost, uh, well, let's just call it double zero two seven. She got up here to double zero six two. That's well over 200% gains. Here comes our 200 day SMA. It's decided that that's where it wants to level off on right now. So it's sitting above that and above its 50 day. Looks like it could continue on. Technical show, she has some strength left over. MJLB, hoop, hoop, hurrah. All right, hey, look at that. We do have a thousand. I'm surprised. I didn't see this one today. 1,239 trades. That could be over 1,000 people. At least 500, right? At least. That is a huge crowd. Which stock is this? I-N-N-D. Just over a penny. Oh, you got to love getting in on a stock on a penny. Think about it. I know it's basic education, but one plus one equals two. Well, that's double your money. All you have to do is go from one to two and you've made 100% gains. Why wait looking at this, thinking about it, if you like it, right? And it gets to five cents and you go, yeah, I guess I'll get in now. Well, now it's gotta go all the way to 10 cents before you double your money. Where before it just had to go from one to two. And when it hit three, you tripled your money. You see how easy and fast the gains come when you buy on the ones? So which stock is this that we're looking at? We're up, oh my God, look at this one down here. Patience, we'll get there, John. <laughs> wow, 1,200 INND, 51% gain, 77 million shares moved today. Isn't this the hearing aid company? Yes, it is. Interscope Hearing Technologies. Last time she had a huge run is when she got into Walmarts. Well, she was already in Walmarts. They just doubled up how many stores she was in. Then the next piece of news came out was that the FDA had made getting hearing aids an OTC product. Now, I don't mean OTC markets. I mean over the counter at the pharmacy. So you didn't need a prescription to buy them. But 
that opened up the market for everybody now, didn't it? Everybody could sell their hearing aids. So even though that was good news for the market on a whole, I don't think it was great news for this company. And then if I remember correctly, I think the company also just got a contract with Rite Aid. There you go also with Rite Aid. So they've got a huge contract with Walmart in, a, I don't know, 1,500 different stores or something like that. They're now with Rite Aid. I don't see any new news here. Uh, nope, that was the 22nd of this month. Anything in disclosures? We're looking for that catalyst. I mean, there's got to be a reason she's running, right? Uh, no filings. Those are about two weeks behind. And a 10K, that's way back that's way back so no i see nothing here now since we're here let's take a look at our share structure really high folks this scares me because this company is getting success right they've got their products in walmart you're just not a nobody if you're in walmart they're in right aid so they're starting to get recognition and noticed they could possibly want to get up to the nasdaq wouldn't they now that they've got a reputation to uphold they want to get in front of people who have money and can invest in them well that's not down here on the otc so they could easily do a reverse split with 6.7 billion shares easy they could do a one in one thousand where would that get the price one two three that would get it up to ten bucks if they wanted to go one in one, 1,000, which would take this down to, I think, uh, 6.7 million shares. But they don't need to go to 10 bucks, do they? They just need to go to three bucks. So my point is, they are set up. They've got success building up. They've got lots of shares that they can split. So yeah, I like this company, but you're gonna have to be careful about that. Matter of fact, let's take a look at the chart for IND. All right, that is our five-day chart. Let's go back. Let's take a look. All right, so this is when she made her news about the Walmart deal. I mean, ever since then, she's been holding them for a while. But look, oh my God, this is sad, folks. She's come right back down. I'm going to pull this off so that you can see all of this. Matter of fact, I'll get rid of all my drawings. There you go. So she came down. She bounced off to 200 after that huge run, hit the 200, tried to hold on here, struggled, finger tipping it, and just couldn't hang on, and is falling. And there's no reason, maybe market sentiment, maybe, as I just said, uh, the new law making this easy for anybody with the hearing aid to put them out over the counter in pharmacies now, maybe that is hurting them. As I said, it's just a guess. Today, she did get a bounce after that big long fall, but she's still got a ways to go. She's not even over her nine day on her four hour. And looking at her five day, five minute, boy, it's in the morning she takes those drops, isn't it? Boom, 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 boom. Stay away from I-N-N-D in the morning. Wait, it looks like about uh, 10, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is around 10. What's this one? Uh, 9.55, see, I've got a rule. When I'm in a stock playing it, if it's running hard, running steady, not taking a breath, well, if it's doing that right up to 10 in the morning, I'm out. I know. Now, I will look at the charts. If it looks like it's blazing, I might stay there. But honestly, 10, 10.05, the market takes a hesitation. It takes a change, a, a breath. And sometimes it's going to continue falling. Sometimes it will continue rising. Instead of waiting for that toy cost, coin toss. <laughs> I do that every time. Coin toss. I just get out and I try to get into a habit of starting the day with some gains. Whatever you take is a good thing. Don't ever feel you cheated yourself because you didn't stay with something. You do that more often than not, you'll lose your money. Staying in after 10, many stocks fall and don't come back. You see that over and over again as we look at stocks. So yeah, first thing in the morning, this thing likes to take a big drop. Wait until 10 in the morning to see what she's going to do. Lately, she hasn't been doing anything but stitching, just drawing stitches across the board until today, and we haven't found anything. So, I am curious. I am going to take INND, and I'm going to put this over on Twitter because, well, I know she has value. She could just be undervalued. Matter of fact, we had a low bubble yesterday. Now, how far back does that low bubble go? Oh, not that far, but it has come right down to here again. We are right there. Actually, I'm gonna draw a line there because that is a significant line we do not want to miss. Right there. 
Yeah, she's went right back before the surge. What a shame. That is a huge loss. All right, so what do we got for INND over here? We are under the most popular, so they won't be in chronological order. We are getting tens of thousands of dollars in purchase orders daily. Uh, I guess that was a quote. Um, not seeing anything jumping out here, folks. INND, everyone yammering on and on about the dilution. If you did your DD, you'd know about it. Shares are restricted. Purchased at 97 cents. 50% to sell in six months, 50% after 12 months. The I here direct guys know this going way up based on revs. You see, the revenues should increase. We didn't look at the revenues. Let's take a quick look at those revenues. And it wasn't there. Yeah, right here. All right, we were at $695,000 at the end of last year. We know it's thousands. You got to take those three zeros there. And are they building up? Whoa, come on. That's a huge jump right there. Six million. $900,000. Yeah, there's a big increase. All right, so you've got a stock that has come right down before all the deals with Walmart, Rite Aid, before the laws change, making it get easy access to a lot more people. All of that has happened, and we're right back at that same price. And someone, a lot of people said, this is stupid. This is worth something. So this is virtually a low. Now, this is on the four-hour, six-month. I'm sure it's a low bubble on the, there it is, on the 20-day, the one-hour, it's a low bubble. The five-day, it's a low bubble. So absolutely, it's bouncing off the low because it is undervalued. She is just now coming above her 50-day. You see the bars are getting bigger. You can tell she's excited to get on top of the 50. Once she gets up here, she's probably going to blow away that 200. Boy, there you go again, folks. There's that setup, right? Technicals are strong here, folks. All right, so I like INND. I think she's undervalued. She looks like she's on a recovery right now. You could get yourself a good run out of this or a nice average down before she starts bouncing. All right, back to this. I want to see that 8,000. Which one was? Oh, right. GTII. They put out news late in the day. This wasn't running all day. It just started to run, and he's fighting back. We have talked about this company before. Uh, they finished the day with 46% gains at $1.39 with almost 8 million shares, and they generated $11.8 million in sales just for the stock today. Lots of money. So what's the deal with this? Well, this is the company that has been being shorted a lot. It was really, really shorted. As a matter of fact, I brought it to your attention because she started doing 2,000, 4,000, 8,000, 10,000, 14,000 trades a day. Every day it was getting bigger. And I looked into it and she was being shorted hard. Well, the company itself, the management was fighting this by trying to give shareholder value. He was trying to come up with digital dividends, which FINRA said, no, we can't do that. We don't know how. So he's been trying to find ways to give value to the shareholders so that he could push the shares up and push these shorters out. And when the shorters get out, they've got to buy shares. That's how they get back out. They got to buy them because they borrowed them, sold them for a profit, wait for the price to drop, buy them cheaper, and then put them back into the storehouse. And they keep the difference. Well, he has brought out news today. I'll just let you see this. Global Tech Industries Group retains Christian Levine Law Group to investigate possible naked short selling. Now, I don't short. I don't know it very well, but naked shorts are illegal. I think this uh, pretty much came into effect when the game situation happened. What sh naked shorting is, it's basically working with securities that don't exist, shares that are not there. They will short a stock up to 100%, and that's it. There's no more shares that can be borrowed. That's it. Well, no, some of these companies are going to two, three, four hundred percent shorted. How is that possible? Because some brokers are letting shorters sell the stock before they've actually borrowed it. Hence the word naked, and it screws everything up. So he is having it investigated that there is naked shorts on his company. And anytime this CEO makes 
noise about fighting these shorters, the stock runs. The investors really like it, although they're already in. I don't know if they're buying more if these are new investors. But you did have a 46% gain on that news. She's on the QB, the middle tier, so they are audited, all their financials, got all their green ticks, and they got independent directors. You need those if you're going to uplist, so you may have plans to go further. Let's take a look at GTII over here. She was running for a while, and then she got cool. All right, I'm going to go back four hours, six months. Ooh, man, again. Folks, this is just like the last one we looked at. I'm going to get rid of these lines for us since they don't come into play anymore. It's come right back down to the floor. Just like I, N, and D. See, this is market sentiment, folks. This has nothing to do, and it could be shorters. They're pulling these prices down to floors. We're right down here again, bouncing off that floor. This company has value. This company's doing stuff. It's not in bad shape. You just got a war going on, and right now it's back at the floor. It hit $8.97. Right now it's at $1.39. And you've got levels here at about $3.51. You got another one there at $4.98. So, if and you can see the volume is picking up right now. The volume has been strong, got very weak, and now is getting powerful. And our technicals look like she's trying to turn the corner right now. Everything, boy, she was in the basement on the RSI. Whoa, she was down there at six. Oh my God. She is now up at uh, <laughs> four. 14 and everything is starting to turn five day five minute for gtii downhill plunge hit that low bubble bounced off it got over her 200 had a nice push and then like a ball has come back down hitting the water floating on the surface right on top of our 200 day sma and we do show hints of uh well i'm not going to say she wants to climb i see there's a mixed bag here just keep your eye on GTII. If there's any fighting involved, there could be some pops. I don't know how low this would go before shorters got scared. I honestly don't. All right, let's see. I don't know how long I've been doing this. <laughs> I don't want to keep you here all day. Where are we in percentages? We were down to uh, 46%. There's one at 193, 13 million shares, 43% RJDG. Not familiar with this stock either. RJD Green. Share structure, 220 million maybe. They making any money? Yeah, they are. Four million every single year. That should give them about a million every quarter. Let's see. Yep, a little over a million every quarter. They're even getting more money right now. Looks like they're behind a quarter here, but it doesn't say anything over here about that. All right, let's see what the catalyst is, right? No news since the 7th. Anything down here? No. Disclosures. Okay, they had an annual report come out yesterday. They need a uh, attorney letter, right? Anytime you have an annual report, you gotta have an attorney letter. They haven't got that in. They're not in any trouble. There's nothing going on here. So there must be some good news in that annual report. Maybe something about their revenues or something about that, their plans for the future. We don't have anything else going on here. And I, I did, did we just look at the news? I <laughs> we look at so much news. Right, so. That looks to be it. You just had a file and you got to put A with B sometimes. All right, now we're down to 38%. I normally go down to maybe 30, 33%. 81 trades, that'll qualify. 1.7 million shares, 35% gains at 0 0.035. XERI, ah, I like it when I see stocks I've never seen before. Exerient Inc. Actually, I think I have seen this one before. Also on the middle tier, got all their financials audited. Green ticks are all there. We've seen a lot of strong stocks tonight. Uh, let's see what we got in the share structure. I haven't seen any real small floats though. 180 million here. Financials. Ooh, that jumped from 373,000 to 5.0. Oh no, that's not, <laughs> that's not revenues. That's expenses. Wow, their expenses seriously jumped and they got no money coming in. That ain't a good thing. Let's check the quarterly. Eeks, oh, 
No, they got no money coming in. None at all. And of course, if you're in business, you're spending money. So why it doesn't say shell risk up here, I don't know. But that doesn't look good. So what sort of catalyst we got for them? Mm, no, that's September. Anything today? No, nothing here. Fingers crossed there's something over here. They had a financial. No, that's not even a financial. Maybe a week ago, they had a 10Q come out, a quarterly report. They said they were going to be late on the 15th. You get five days after you file a NT, not filing the 10Q. You get five extra days for a 10Q and 15 days for a 10K, the annual. So they got that in right at the hair. You know, you don't count the weekends. Those aren't business days. So they got it in on time. Is that what they're jumping about? I really don't know. Um, 91 trades. That's not bad at 1.5 million shares, 34% gains, just about a penny. PVCT, who are you? Step right up and tell us about yourself. Provectus Biopharmaceuticals. Middle tier, looking good, all green with independent directors. So everything looks solid here. Big volume count on their uh, share structure, about 400 million. Financials, no money on the annual. They're starting to make money. Uh, they're about at $600,000 so far. Uh, no, almost a million dollars so far this year, almost. And they're getting to keep all of it. They must have a digital product. No, they're a biopharmaceutical, maybe, I don't know. Maybe they're talking to people just giving advice. I really can't tell you. Let's see what we've got for news, though. Haven't had any news since the 10th of this month. Nothing down here either. Disclosures. Goodness gracious. No, we got nothing here. All right, I'm not actually expecting to see anything, but maybe technicals. We're going to jump over here to Twitter, right? All right, management. That's the 28th, two days ago. Management stated goal. Achieve drug approval in Australia for intralesional PV10 treatment of in-transit metastasis and melanoma and refractory neurondocrine cancer. I'm sure I mispronounced four of those words easily. So they've got stuff they're looking at in the future as most bioceutical companies are doing. They've all got things in the pipeline. The first trial takes about two years. Second trial, three to five years. Third phase of the trial can take up to five to seven years. So you're looking at at least 10 years to get a new drug on the market if everything goes okay. You get pops each time you get good news and then it normally comes back down. So there's a lot of waiting. So I don't see anything imminent right now. Um, anything else here jumping out? No, I don't see anything else here. And she had 34% gains. 78, we're almost out of our 33% area. 16 cents, ISR, no, ISMRF. Where did you go? ISMRF right there. This is ISM Reser Reserves, I don't know. All right, what do we got here? She's pink current and got no green. She's got no verified profile, no verified transfer agent. Uh, looks like it's going to be a small float. I don't know what the float is, but it's going to be under 27 million. I think that's the smallest we've seen tonight. Uh, let's see financials. Are they actually making any money? We're not going to know. They're not going to tell us here. Let's check the quarterly. No. They are a foreign company. That's what the F means on the very end. They're a foreign company. So just because you don't see it here doesn't mean they're not filing. They could be filing in their own country, and it's just not available here. Speaking of own country, where are they from? Canada. So that's probably where you'd find their stuff. Disclosures, we're probably not going to get a lot here because they're being done in Canada. Now we can take one last swing over here at Twitter, see if they know anything that's going on with this company because we don't see anything. Today's top penny stock gainers, that's it. That's everything we got for this stock, nothing else. And you get a lot of that. You'll see stocks running and you can't find any rhyme or reason for it happening. And you just got to deal with it. And I won't get into a stock if I don't know. Now, the truth of the matter is I will 
there's lots of stocks where I'm just playing technicals. I don't know what the news is. I don't know if it's bad news or good news because the honest truth is there's a lot of stocks that run on bad news. Companies being delisted from the NASDAQ, being thrown down to the OTC. It's running. They just announced bankruptcy. It's running. I'm telling you silly things like we just saw that warrant. They're delisting it. It's off and running, 44,000% gains. Unbelievable. So really, it's not about the catalyst. You can make a logical decision on what should happen, and that doesn't mean anything. But the charts won't lie. The technicals won't lie. Read your charts. Read those technicals. So here you go, folks. I'm not sure how long we've been here. Maybe an hour, hour and a half. We're going to have to call it quits. Sorry it went so long. But you get an idea of what we're doing here. We're looking for stocks that have a lot of trades or anything that stands out. We're jumping over to the ticker, looking for the catalyst, seeing why it's running at the news, disclosures. Run over to Twitter. And if you're really interested, go on over to Google. See if you can find something. And then, of course, you get all that other information here that you're looking for. Which stocks are getting the biggest gains, whether they have a lot of trades or not. You can see them here. So I love this page. It's here all day. You can come here any time of day. You don't have to refresh. Well, you have to refresh it to refresh it. But every time you come to it, it will be as current as it possibly can be. And you can see what is running right up till that moment. Use this page, folks. I use it all day long. It's how I find at least 50% of the stocks that we talk about. Absolutely is. DD, this is a page to make it easier. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.